Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use Cold Turkey Blocker, which is one of the best apps to block the distractions on your computer so that you can finally focus and get the work done. So whether you are a student or freelancer or just someone who is trying to stay off social media, this guide will help you set up Cold Turkey step by step on your PC. So without further delay, let's get straight into it. First of all, you need to download and install Cold Turkey in your device. For that, first of all, you need to open your web browser. Over here in the search bar, you need to simply search for getcoldturkey.com. Once you do this, you will be landed here on the official website of Cold Turkey. Over here, you will see this type of download button. So you need to click on this download button and the setup will be start to download here in your device. So once the downloadation is completed, you just have to install it in your device. And uh, after the installation, you need to just launch the cold turkey application. And you are going to see this type of dashboard in front of you, which will be quite clean, minimal with different block options. Now, first of all, it is going to ask you to install the extensions because cold turkey blocker requires extensions to be installed on all of your web browsers that help it to disable and remove these extensions during the lock block with force close your browser until you re-enable them so uh, here in your chrome web browser you need to click on the option of install then click on the option of yes this way basically you will be able to install the extension of cold turkey blocker in your uh, chrome web store so once you have it done you are going to see the dashboard which is going to show you basically the active blocks which is going to show you basically your active blocks your today's upcoming blocks then the summary of today's block so here in order to start blocking the list you can click on the option of create a new block now you need to click on the option of new block over here you need to add the website which you want to basically block so you can add any of the websites over here then you can click on the option of add if you have multiple lists of the websites which you want to add here you can click on the option of import then you can add the text file or you can add the pre-made list which would be like uh, dating email gambling etc after that you can select the websites from the block then select the expectations from the block uh, you can also take a look at all the searches containing and all the URLs containing. So with the help of this section, you can basically find multiple types of generic applications which you can basically block. So let's say I want to add this particular website over here. So once you have added that, simply click on the option of add. Similarly, let's say I want to add this app, then click on the option of add. Now you can close it without saving but i won't recommend you doing it you need to click on the option of save as in the bottom right hand corner of the screen again if you want to export the data here you can just simply click on the option of export and add the file over here this way all of your websites will come here in this section you can also click on the option of select in order to select all of your added websites you can also deselect all if you want to remove any of these, you need to select it first and remove it from here. After that, we have the website exceptions. So here you can add the exceptions of the website, like the website which you want to basically uh, don't want it to block. Then we have the option of apps. So here for the apps, you need to upgrade uh, to the premium subscription. So you need to simply do it in order to create your blogs. Now over here on this page, you are going to see all of your blocks. So you can just simply click on this toggle button in order to turn it on. And you can click on the option again in order to turn it off. So with the help of it, basically you can start creating your block. Now the best part about cold turkey blocker is that you can also set up a schedule or timer for your blocks. So for example, let's say you can block the distractions from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. every single day uh, so that you just have to select the timer so here you need to come to the statistics page and you can select the weekly then you can select date and time after that you can select the number of triggers and you can keep on refreshing this page in order to see the statistics 
similarly when you come here in the website statistics you can just uh, take a look at the data over here and with the help of app statistics you can also do it very easily so once your list and your schedule are set over here you can come back on the dashboard and you can click on the option of start next to the block list it will ask you for the confirmation and uh, this way you will be able to make your pc distraction free so you can try opening the same websites that you have blocked here with the help of the software and you will see a motivational quote instead of the ads the only way to bypass it is so this way you can basically start using the cold turkey blocker on your pc now here you are going to see the upgrade to pro option so let me just quickly brief it out the upgrading options over here so with the free version uh, you are going to get almost all of the features that you need but if you want some advanced features like blocking the keywords uh, wildcard domains custom motivational codes or password protection you can definitely upgrade to the pro version it is going to be a one time payment and after that there is no subscription required this is totally optional but uh, it is worth trying if this video helped you out make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions you can just let me know that in the comment section below Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.